Hi, welcome to Central News for Monday the 26th of September. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, the behaviour of the hordes of Irish rugby fans who clogged major highways heading to Rotorua for Sunday afternoon's game against Russia is being praised by police. Bay of Plenty Police Rugby World Cup Operation Commander Inspector Scott Fraser says there was congestion outside the stadium immediately after the game, but this was cleared within a relatively short period of time. Police say more than 26,000 people attended the biggest of the three games that Rotorua has hosted. Last week was Hamilton Pride Week and although there is a large gay community in Hamilton, a lack of supportive structures for young gay youths is evident in not only Hamilton but nationwide. And there are different initiatives like maybe working with the media to get um, a more visible community and working with schools to get groups in more schools would be really beneficial for young people. More exposure is the key to help and Pride Week helps bring issues associated with the gay community out into the open. I think it shows visibility and it shows that there are others out there like uh, maybe not role models but other people that have done these steps of coming out or of questioning their sexuality or their gender identity. Stefan and Murray's interview with Central News reporter Amanda Harper features tomorrow night here on Central News. The Movember website is now live, packed with fantastic features, Mo-related news and all the information needed to embark on an exciting upper lip journey this Movember. Movember.com is base camp where teams and individuals can register to help raise funds for men's health, specifically prostate cancer and depression, through participating guys or Mo bros and Mo sisters, gaining sponsorship for a month of Mo growing. Funds raised go to the Mental Health Foundation of New Zealand and the Cancer Society. Time to check out our region's weather. Both regions had sunny skies today, with Tauranga being the pick of the bunch, reaching 17 degrees. The sun is set to continue in Tauranga tomorrow, again heading for a high of 17 from a low of 7. Hamilton has some fog patches, but you can expect fine spells with a high of 16 and a low of 3. After the break, we hear from National MP for the Hamilton West area. Nick Green tells us of the latest Habitat Build challenge involving the whole community. And Yvonne Randall shares some sound nutritional advice as to the table on the back of food packets. I'll see you back here after the break. 